Alright viewers, this is Blood on Sweden back with part 4 of my new improved and updated SRCDS tutorial series covering Source Mod and MetaMod. We are doing great. We have done 3 out of 4 parts of the basics tutorials. We know how to download and install the server. We know how to set it up. We know how to install source mod and meta mod and to set yourself up as an admin and we have gotten a good overview of the basics of running a server but there are one more part that is really really important which is port opening and general connection information I'm getting a lot of PMs with questions like my friends can't connect why and I always reply with what IP address do you send to your friends to connect with and have you opened your ports and the answer is in almost every case a 192 uh, IP address which is a internal IP you know 192 168 is almost always an internal IP and you should really know the difference between internal and external IP addresses. An internal is given to you by your router which handles all the internal communications all the communications within your local area network and your external IP is given to you once you connect to the internet and will handle all external communication so internal handles internal communication external is handling external communication so of course we need to send the external IP to our friends to connect with if you don't know your external IP just open up your web browser and type in what's myip.org and there it is now I'm gonna show you how this works um, alright we got our external IP but we still need to add the port SRCDS runs with and by default it's 27015 and this is the full IP we need to send our friends so that they can connect but if I were to load up my server right now and try to add my server to my favorites so I'm gonna open up servers here favorites add a server this will most likely say server is not responding yeah look at that uh, and this is because my router is blocking the ports it's blocking all communication from these ports. These ports need to be opened. And to do this, this is a really simple thing. M many get scared about port opening because they think it's a, you know, big thing and it's really really hard, but actually it's very very simple. So go into your start menu and write down to the search box down here and just type in CMD if you run Windows XP just click the run option you have in the list here and type in CMD in the pop-up window and there you go now type IP config and you will get the the configuration for your for your uh, connection and right down at the bottom you have the standard gateway this is the IP address to your router and we need to get inside your router we need to open its users interface so open up your web browser again and in the address field just type in your standard gateway IP and there you go if you do not know your username and password, it's, it's normally any of these combinations. Admin admin, or admin blank, or admin password, which it is in my case. 
there you go this is my router's user's interface uh, the design might vary a lot depending on your model and your brand but it works the same way you most likely have a advanced uh, menu or a advanced tab somewhere and under it you will most likely find a port forwarding option and go ahead and click that because that's exactly what we want to do now it might look something like this it might look a lot different but again it works the same way first off name just call it SRCDS1 and you have a start port and uh, an end port or port range it might say as well you have a protocol and sometimes a local IP address box but let's start with the start port 1200 and the end port is 1200 protocol is UDP and if you have the local IP address box just go back to the CMD IP config command and you will see your your IPv4 address that's your internal IP or your local IP so you can see I mine ends with a 10 there so I need to add 10 so the router knows it's my device the ports should be open against okay I'm gonna go ahead and click add I'm gonna open up my sheet note for the rest of the ports SRCDS2 start port 27000 to 27015 UDP protocol and point to your device SRCDS3 start port is 27 7030 to 27039 and it's a TCP uh, protocol and point to SRCDS4 27016 to 27016 and leave it on both for protocol it might also say UDP and TCP or both and point to your device and hit add and there you go all the necessary ports are now opened and that's really how easy it is to open ports and if I try to add my server to my favorites again here let's load up the server and I'm gonna copy my IP address again I'm gonna open up Steam servers go to favorites add a server paste my IP in and find games at this address and there you go you can see I can find my server without any problems whatsoever and I will also be able to connect and my friends will also be able to connect and that's how easy it is to open ports so don't be afraid of the whole port opening uh, tutorial it's nothing hard to do and it won't you know mess anything up it's just very very simple alright so this is it for my basics tutorial SRCDS basics if you want to you can come back for part 5 where I will show you how to add maps and sounds and plugins how to install plugins and I will show you some great plugins that I use uh, but if not I hope this helped and have a lot of fun with your server and I will see you the next time bye